Hi boys and girls, it's me. And uh, looks like summer is over and fall is upon us. Halloween's going to be here real soon. Um, and I'm making a video, I'm outside, this is not a radio related video, so if you, you're kind of hoping to see a radio, um, go ahead and change, you know, just click out this video now and uh, go watch a radio video or cat cat videos or wherever it is that uh, is interesting because I'm going to talk about something a little bit different this time around. Uh, and that is the radio flyer, and the radio flyer has a problem. Um, for as experienced as I am at working on old cars, I mean, I didn't do it for a living, I just did it as a hobby. But I had to do something to the radio flyer I've never done before. And it was a bit scary, but so far, so good. Let me show you. Well, boys and girls, you can see radio flyer is way up in the air in the back. I've got on some railroad ties and some jack stands. And uh, those aren't guides for new wheelie bars. What this is are the straps for the gas tank hanger because the gas tank is gone. I had to take it out. I've never removed the gas tank before. Um, so this is my first time. Let me explain. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is a void. So this is the underneath of the car, and then you can see there's a wire that's hanging down. I don't know how well it's coming in the picture, but uh, that's for the uh, the fuel tank sensor, and then it's the fuel feed hose, and then there's a couple other hoses and things that you don't see. It's kind of out of the picture, but everything is out. And if you remember from my last video where I was at the train station and the car show that I just showed everybody, um, my car was mysteriously not there because I had a bad leak. And when you start leaking high-octane premium fuel, it's not a good thing. So it took me a little while to troubleshoot it. I, it it's been leaking actually for several weeks. But uh, I was able to, once I finally jacked this up, I was able to root cause where, at least where it was leaking from. Okay. So besides a cheap mountain bike and my snow thrower and uh, my lawnmower and underneath that box is a generator and some tools and things. But this is literally the fuel tank out from the wagon. Where it was leaking from was right here. Let me remove the towel because I just keep it in cover so no dirt gets in there. But this was the sending unit area. And if you see here, there's a little knurl here. And an O-ring actually fits in that knurl, and then there's a ring that locks this in place. You have to put it in and twist it, and it compresses the sending unit and the O-ring together. And the one thing, well, it was leaking from the O-ring. And that's just, uh, that's just not a good thing. Let me just cover this back up again so no dirt gets in it. So let me show you the O-ring. So here's the fuel tank sensor. So this is what tells you whether you have gas in your tank or not. Okay, so here's the fuel sensor right here. And here is the O-ring, and here's the locking ring that that goes on. So the O-ring actually sits on here. It actually goes through here and compresses against the tank like so. But the problem is, is that since this is, uh, well, since it's so old, but you can see that it's a little tough maybe from the picture, but on the left-hand side of the O-ring, as you're looking at, you see how flat that is? It's been compressed for so long that once any pressure was built up in that tank, and believe me, the, the tank does see some some pressure basically from vacuum from the uh, the fuel pump, and it will just start leaking. So this is a ground wire here, uh, up front here, this is the actual fuel feed where it goes down the side of the car through a, a, a line to the carburetor, and this is the sensor that plugs into here, it just goes over the top of it, there's no screws or anything holding that on, and uh, that's for the fuel feed. I elected to replace this, it's, I mean it, this, this still works, but the, the side of this thing has got a big tear in it, and this is supposed to kind of filter any 
sediment from the tank or anything from getting into the you know through the fuel line to the carburetor to the fuel pump and then to the carburetor so anyhow car looks kind of silly just sitting there you know it almost looks like I've got the almost looks like a low rider you know it's kind of like up in the air or whatever I'm gonna start bouncing this thing down the street but anyway I have the part ordered and I gotta wait for it to show up and then uh, it's gonna go back together and Mrs. RW actually helped me out a little bit actually I think she was just watching over me because I'm not getting any younger and she didn't want to see me do something stupid and hurt myself this is the where the filler neck goes in from the side here this is where you actually fill the thing so if you were to pour gas in here right now it would just go right all over the floor so I just have the cap on there loose this is supposed to be a closed system but I noticed by using a vented cap it actually helps that pressure and you even see that I don't know how well you can read it. there's even a warning on the cap it says remove slowly because if you pull it out too fast what happen is it just it'll just splash right back up so and let's see what else we got oh this is the vent this is the vent that goes up the filler neck over there and uh, basically we got this little piece of mat here and Mrs. R.W. carefully peeled that off the top of the tank and you can see actually this has been uh, basically been coated I guess rust proof the car was rust proofed at some time in its life and you can see where where it was leaking so this is the bottom of the tank right here and the fuel was actually going down the the line here these two parts are where the straps go through here and here and that's where the straps go around to go back up to the car but you notice there's no undercoating where the leak was and that was kind of an indicator of where it was coming from but it was just a matter of why so I'm glad it wasn't glad it wasn't the tank itself and it was just that so anyway we'll get the part and uh, maybe I'll just do a video of putting everything back together join us again when we bring you those unforgettable great moments in radio W-R-A-N, Super Heat Weekend.